Hello and welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute and interesting vellum envelope. I was including this at first in a video where I show you five different ways to use vellum, but it was a little bit harder than I thought. It wasn't a quick idea, so I'm going to give it its own video. And if you want to see more ways that you can use vellum, be sure to check out the five ways you can use vellum in your journals. That video will already be up, but for now, let's get in how to make this cutie right here. I'm actually going to use my envelope punch board. I haven't used this in so long, but I have this cut down to eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. That's going to give us a four by six envelope. And I'm just going to do this quickly. Um, so it tells me to score at three and three eighths of an inch. Um, actually, I one of my first videos ever, let's see, I haven't used this in so long, was, whoops, oh no, let's try that again. Um, one of my first videos that did really well on my channel was all about the envelope punch board. And I showed, I think, 10 different things that you could do with it other than making envelopes. So that's kind of funny. Okay. So we're just basically starting out the same way and you might be wondering why are we not using vellum, but we are going to. So I'm just going to fold these down just so I can get an idea of So what I'm going to do next, there's no way to really tell you a measurement or anything like that. I'm going to rip this and I'm going to try to do like two diagonal rips. It doesn't have to be any certain size. You could also cut straight down. This is just the easiest way that I've found to do what I'm going to show you. And so basically I'm going to rip another little strip and basically we're going to replace this piece with vellum and so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out a piece that's close to the same size because if I cut out the exact same size it wouldn't give us any room to adhere it onto the envelope. So bear with me. I think you'll get how this works at the end. So now I'm going to flip these over backwards like that. And I'm going to kind of place this back real quick so I can remember how, which way it went and everything. Yep, it was just like that. So that I can kind of get the placement pretty good. That's going to be okay. And I'm going to place that right there. Now I'm going to take just a minute to make sure, sorry, that I have it placed exactly where it was, where, where this piece of paper was, so that I can tape down and then have it fold back up into a perfect envelope. It is something that, this is a little bit on the harder side, but it's it's really a great, cute little envelope when we're all done. Okay. And if the torn look isn't for you, or if um, all of this work isn't for you, you could totally just kind of rip out or cut out a piece of the envelope and just replace it with vellum as well. But anyways, I have this lined up, I think almost perfect. It's going to be fine if it's not exact. You can see, oh, there we go. There was a missing piece and I'm going to tape down now that I just messed it up the vellum so that it won't move. And then I'm going to sew. There we go. That's actually much better. See how everything is pretty straight there, except. Okay. Now I'm gonna tape this so it doesn't move at all. And just put a few pieces. This is the inside of the envelope, so 
it's not going to show and also we can remove the washi tape once we're done sewing the vellum on you could probably use a double-sided tape too but this is just the only way that i've figured this out this is probably a little too intense for a video like these but i just had to show you so now i'm going to take this to the sewing machine and i'm going to sew around the edges of each vellum piece. Now I just need to trim the vellum so that it is a straight edge, just like our envelope, just because I had a little bit too big of a piece. And, I might have... and then this. Okay. And then, I'm gonna take our scoreboard again here just to rescore the lines where we'll go this way actually. Oh no. Just to rescore the lines where the vellum is now in place of the paper. I didn't realize that when I was adding this into the envelope ideas that it was going to I feel like this seems a little bit more confusing than I think it is in my head. There we go. Just be careful with the vellum, not to press too hard. And then you can refold everything. And you can adhere your envelope together. I am going to remove the washi tape just so it doesn't peek through. And I think this is a really fun look. I think that um, if I spent more time on it and sewed around the edges and everything, I'll show you what, what it looks like um, when it's all complete. Wow, I got real messy at the sewing machine. So I basically sewed around all of the different quadrants and the outer layer. You do have to be careful when scoring vellum. I don't ever have an issue folding it, but scoring it, I did rip a little bit right here, just a small little portion, but that's gonna be fine because we can still use it. Now I'm gonna take some double-sided tape to finish putting the envelope together. Again, I'm cutting this in half because I don't need it to be a half an inch thick. And I'm just going to place my double-sided tape on the smaller flaps like that. While this is a little bit more complicated, I think the outcome is so cute. And I've made a couple of these and I have like decorated them. And I just loved how it looked. I definitely did not put that on the best, so. There we go. And I can see that I also needed to trim. It's a little bit of work to get it all to line up. There's, There must be an easier way, but honestly, I think I'm just making it look more confusing <laughs> than it is. I think that looks so fun. And if you want to add anything to the front or back, that's great, but you can see how fun it is. Again, if you put something inside and it will peek through on both sides. Just put a couple of little journaling cards in there. Okay, let's go ahead and add some things just for fun. Um, I think it would be cute to do a little like postage stamp cluster up here. So I am going to, I have these little postage stamp stickers that I did get from Amazon, of course. And maybe I like how, I like the color with the green, but maybe for this up here, we'll just layer a couple things on. Just kind of looking through maybe a label would be cute on one side so this is a sticker and so i'm just gonna remove the backing and this is since this is like a washi sticker it's a little bit see-through which kind of goes well with the whole vellum look just trying to figure out how I want to place everything. 
I'm actually gonna add a little bit of lace peeking through on this side. I can't find my cheesecloth and that's actually what I wanted to use, but that's okay. A little piece of lace like that. And then since this is a sticker, I'll just take the backing off and I'm also going to place this little circle label kind of peeking behind. So maybe kind of right about there. And like that, but my label moved. We want it to be like that. And I just put that on a little crooked, but that's okay. No, no, it's not. Can I remove it? <laughs> I'm kind of working around my tripod, so it's a little tricky. As you can see now, I just bumped into it because I... I'm not sure why I keep getting it on there crooked, but maybe the first one's crooked. That could be it. Okay, we're going to call that good. So that will be cute for the back. But let's go ahead and put maybe a little cluster on the front as well. Yeah. I'm actually going to staple this together. And then I'll just attach it with some glue like that. There we go. Oh, <laughs> well, it needs to stick on. So maybe I'll actually add a staple like through the center of the butterfly too. That's probably better. There we go, guys. So that is so fun. I love how that turned out. I hope this was helpful to you guys and hopefully it wasn't too confusing so you can make some of these little cuties. And actually to finish this off, it would look great with some ink around the edges. So I'm gonna use this um, Distress Oxide and Pine Needles. And actually if you used the ink before putting the vellum piece in, that would look really cool too and probably make it like stand out a little bit better. Um, I would probably ink up like the edges of the cardstock that is kind of right around here, which I might still be, be able to get a little bit. Super fun. If this wasn't uh, as time consuming as it is, I would probably make these a lot more. If you do have any tips on a way to make these a little bit quicker, feel free to leave that down below. I'm sure everyone would love that. But for a special little project, I think it's worth the time. So I will see you guys in the next video and have a lovely day. Bye.